Hello, friends! Welcome back to more Portal 2. Let's continue. Portal 2. Danger, keep out. Probably need my headphones, huh? It's probably important for me to wear my headphones so I can hear the game and stuff. All right, so last time I ended the episode at a very unfortunate cliffhanger because I really just, you know, had to stop recording and stuff. So, um, I remember though that I wanted to go over here. <laughs> that is what I remember. Oh gosh. Oh, could I actually? Oh! Okay, wait, before I do that, I want to just try simply going here. Is that possible? Um, maybe, no, oh, yep, it is. Okay, I want to just try opening these doors. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know, because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. Cold? Just a heads up, we're gonna have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Ooh. Best case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Well, that sounds pretty good. Is this happening because I'm clicking on the doors? Notice, experiment discontinued. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. Oh. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. Okay. <laughs> all right, so I can probably get there, which is just another door, right? Um, ooh, ooh, also I could get there. Interesting. And what's up here? Oh, a new way to go. Okay. Well, I'm actually more interested in... Oh, wait, no. Is that where I came from? Uh, maybe that's where I came from. Um, I'm, I'm very much interested in, you know, falling down and flying really far over there. But I'm also kind of curious about... Other things. Like. I didn't actually go into that door, did I? Did I? Oh, no, wait. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was the. Yeah, I did. Okay. I did miss one door, though. Which I'm kind of regretting, but. That's fine, I guess, because I'd have to backtrack pretty far. Okay, so if I if I fly out of there, I might land on that. Is what that's what I'm thinking. But I have to go all the way up here and fall down, right? This is gonna be a long fall. We oh my god! <laughs> ah! Pump station alpha. Okay. Is this where I'm supposed to go? I guess. Oh. Pump station. Know your allergens. Pollen, animals, plastic, anti antimatter. Know your hazardous materials. Don't touch anything unfamiliar. Know your chemical hazards. Do not inhale fumes, no matter how good they smell. <laughs> oh. Hello? Gel, pro gel processing? Gel processing? Gel flow? What manner of science is this? Doorway that was... 
close. Close it off. Okay. What about this door? Okay. Well, um, I suppose I could get up there. Probably. Safety first. Together we can make 1956 the lowest expected casualty anim ever. Hmm. Oh god, what? This is gel. They say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture we do all our science from scratch. No hand-holding. Right. No hand-holding for science. Uh, apparently I'm going in the gel thing. I don't really know if I want to do that. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. Also, I'm confused if I'm going an alternate route or if this is like the way I'm supposed to go. Because I thought I was finding a secret. Ugh. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Right. Okay. Are these all the Earths that he was talking about in the science, in the, in that uh, Aperture Science ad? Looks like it. This one, we're, we're in number nine. The first one. Duct. 1953-01. Remember, this test is unsolvable without Aperture Science Portal Quantum Tunneling Device. Oh. Repulsion Gel. Was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pudding substitute. Wow. Aperture Science Fact Placard Repulsion Gel. It's true. The gel is sweeter, is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from shelves. Um, okay. Caution. What? Oh. Bounce point. Oh, it's bouncy. Okay. Uh huh. Well, what do I put? Do I get a cube? How do I? Oh, there's a button over there. Can I? Can I boing boing all the way up there? Boing! Woo! Woo! Yes, I can. Oh, <laughs> cool. Okay. Ah. Okay. Cool. Aperture Science Innovators. <gasps> That's the original name of the company, isn't it? So this is like the first companion cube, er, not companion cube, the first cube. Oop. Hold to prevent bounce. Wait, hold what to prevent bouncing? I didn't see what that said. Oh, this is so cool. Whee! Whee! The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. Yeah. If I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. <laughs> That's right, Cave Johnson. You tell him. It's your company, man. Do what you want. Next test chamber this way. Aperture science. We do what we want because we can. <laughs> That's the slogan. <laughs> it's the best thing ever, by the way. Aperture science. We do what we want because we can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I can fall down. Uh, 
Beautiful typewriters, by the way. 1950s. Beautiful 1950s style textures. <laughs> I guess. I'm, uh... Not 100% sure. I guess I have to fall down, then. Oh. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. Okay. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Oh. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that, too. What? You put a tumor in my butt? That's not cool, man. All right, so I got to get the cube. This isn't that hard, right? Um... Boing, boing, boing. Oops. <laughs> this is fun. All right, so we wait for the platform. Then we get the cube. Oh. Oh. Um, why did that happen? Oh, because I, I guess I smooshed it. He smooshed it. Boing. Okay. All right. That. Oh. Okay. That puts that there. Then I need to go. Wee. Boing. hole right now, right there okay uh am i supposed to no there's nothing to make a portal on down there i don't know why there's a hole i'm not sure okay it says up um actually no i don't know weird Oh, yeah. I'm coming for you, cube. Slowly but surely. Is there a better way to do this? <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting there, though. Whee! <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Boy, 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 boy. Okay. Now I have this. So I can do... Blarg and uh, blue, blue. What? Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this it's a lively one and it does not like the human skeleton. I think it's fine. It seemed very rubbery. Maybe it's, uh, you know, it's aged nicely over the past hundred or so years or however long I've <laughs> been in here. I don't I don't know what year it is, honestly. Probably more than a hundred. Probably a long time. <clears throat> a very, very long time. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Uh -oh. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> Oh my god, we need Cave Johnson in another video game or something. I need- I just need more Cave Johnson in my life. Okay, 
I can use that portally surface. I will go down here. Um, oh, it looks like we gotta go across here. Platforming! Uh, my favorite. Better than Half-Life platforming. Do not lean on the railing. <clears throat> okay. Um, exit. Surface. Surface up there to make a pure um oh interesting hmm it's got to scan scan the area for portally surfaces no oh damn am i supposed to, is that where i already was or no uh no probably not <clears throat> Okay, I'll try it, I suppose. Hello? Okay. Oh. Hmm. Thought I was gonna have to do like a cool jump thing or something. All right. Um, let's put it on the, oh, I can't put it on the wall. Okay, we'll put it right there. I don't know why. I like your style. Thank you. you. Make up your own rules, just like me. Damn right. Beam counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. <laughs> Ramps are expensive. Oh God. <laughs> uh, I can see where Glados gets her charm from. Um. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. Where am I trying to go? I need something from... Okay, what does this do? First, move that, move that. Oh, God! Oh! Okay, it makes a bellency. So I could make that go elsewhere if I want. I guess. I think I'm trying to go up there. So, um, what happens? What happens if I do this? Oh! That's so cool, dude! I, I really just, I really did not think that this game was gonna, um, like, introduce another mechanic. It's so, they just keep going above and beyond and, like, impressing the hell out of me. I feel like, I felt like this too when I was playing Half-Life 2 also, you know? I definitely did. Oh, um, all right, I gotta get there, I suppose, so... And then there. All right. Whee! Whoop. Oh, I screwed that up. Damn it. Okay. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. Probably, I'm going to need to fling out of there, maybe? So that I can land there. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Whee! Okay. I'm now here. Wait. I already was here. <coughs> Okay, uh, what if I put, uh, okay, I did that wrong. I did that wrong. I'm not as smart as I thought, apparently. So maybe I need the, the, what happens if I put the gel through here? Nothing, because it can't go through that. Okay, well, clearly I need to fall. It says I need to go that way, though. It does. Um, why is there... 
Uh, exits that way. Yeah, I gotta. But why though? But why? 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 There must be a cool ass way to fling myself really far. Like the coolest way imaginable, bruh. Okay. Um, I have a, I have an idea. I don't, I'm not 100 percent sure how this weird gel stuff works. So, put the portal there. If I, maybe I can boing myself, you know, really, really high. Wait. Oh! Oh, I'm so dumb. I thought it, I thought it canceled my portal because I didn't think it would work because it's going through this. Oh! Of course, of course. God, wow, that, uh, okay. Um, but I still need to bounce. I still need to go through it. So, um, yeah. Okay, next step is, it does cancel it. Oh, I just got confused. Yeah, I just got confused. Okay, so now I do this. Now I do the thing I was trying to do. I see. Oh, oh god <laughs> okay um i did enable this the overlay so now achievements are showing up also um i did a quick like intermediary episode where i when i went through where i went through and looked at all the extras and read the comic strip and stuff so if you missed that and you want to get that background information go and watch that video um i you know so and now i'm i'm filled in basically by the way i'm filled in um with the comics and i've seen the the Aperture commercials and stuff. And I am now intrigued by who Caroline is, also. But I don't know yet. I don't know for sure. Hoping there's going to be more info soon. Goop. I love this goop. This is fun. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts oh. vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Okay. Okay, that... So you can't put the gel... Is this just water? All right. Bloink. Timed, of course. All right. Um, so once I do that, is there any... Oh, what up there? Oh, that turns off the... Th oh! Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, I'm I'm dumb, you guys. I'm d I didn't see that that turned it off. I'm sorry. I'm it's very simple. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice: if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time entirely, forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just <laughs> let that handsome devil go about his business. Okay. Remember, in the fu if the future you tries to warn you about this test, don't <laughs> listen. <laughs> okay. Sure. Oh, I can get it on this wall. Okay. Interesting. But I can't. I can put the gel on there, but I can't put the anything else. Okay, well, let's go up here and see what we can see. So I could, I could, um, 
just jump into here. Boing! Boing! Jello flow. Accidents hurt. You, you will be hurt. Coworkers, don't endanger others. Don't push your coworker into a radio radioactive barrel. The company, ah, oh, replacements are costly. Science, investigators, impede progress. Safety first. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I, oh, I see. All right. Do I see? Uh, do I need to... What? Excuse me? All right, well, I could fly over there, I guess. Why, though? Ah! Oh. Okay. Why am I in here? That is a good question. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. Uh, <sighs> Aperture science. We do what we want because we can. I wish I knew more words than that. Believe me. Maybe Black Mesa. Da -da -da -da. That was a joke. Fat chance. Then uh Okay. What in the what in God's green earth am I supposed to do? I'm very confused. What if I need to go sideways? What about Gel flow here. Hmm. Am I allowed to use the previous puzzle? Hmm. I can do this. I can figure this out. Do it. I can do it. Put my back into it. I can do it. Put my back into it. I can do it. Put your back into it. Back into it. Back into it. Put your back into it. Oh. Wait, where is that? I figured it out! The missing! The missing thing! Okay, alright, but now that I have gel... It was using a past puzzle! Yeah, I just, I knew something was missing. Okay, I can put gel... onto that by getting it to go... out there. Right, so just wait. And then make it go out there. No, oh, that's not quite high enough. That's why this platform is here. Ah! Game, you're so smart! Game, you are so smart. Okay, and then I just make myself, and then I can fling myself. Oh! La, la. Yeah! Okay, I feel pretty smart for that one, not gonna lie. It took me a little bit, but I got I got your number game. I got your number. I know what you're all about, okay? I see how things are. I see how it is. Whoop. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalk between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. Yeah, well, it was more confusing. 
who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink bras. That sounds like projection. What? He didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, he did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use a word. Now let's solve this thing. Okay. You got it, Cave Johnson. I feel like a name like Cave Johnson definitely requires that you say the whole name, right? You can't just call him Cave because it's, it's just, he's Cave Johnson. Am I right? Am I right or am I right, you guys? Am I right or am I right? Okay, we got Goop. We have a <clears throat> Aperture Innovative whatever in a cube. A cube in a cube. What does that do? Turns off. No? Oh, it is the lit. I should just pay attention to the lights like a smart person, but I'm not a smart person. Okay, so we can we can send what's the bottom like? Okay. Um somehow we gotta get the do we just put the Oh! Oh my god, we can make a bouncy cube. Are you freaking serious? That's awesome! <gasps> Bounce the cube, Schrodinger's catch. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm the best. I caught it, I caught it. Whoop. Okay, I just don't know what I need to do with it yet. Um, let's... Obviously I need to use it um, to, get the, to get that down. I think I need to put it under the water to clear the the goop, right? Okay, so if I put it in here, it's no longer goopy. And then I can use it on here. I can use it on here to get the lift. Then I just need to get the gel in the right spot. I need a jump. Um, and then... I need to get the gel on the cube again. Yay! Yeah. Why not invent a special safety door that will get you on the bottom of the way out? You are fired. Oh shit. Are you test subject? You're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff out the front door. Parking lot, car. Goodbye. You're firing the box. I hope it wasn't the companion cube. <laughs> These puzzles are fun. I love how the game is just so different again all of a sudden. I love it. Okay. Congratulations. The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. Yeah. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready, so as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Thank you. Goodbye, I would... Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Bye, Carolyn. <gasps> is Carolyn the AI? Is that the AI's real name? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I know I'm supposed to go that way, but like, I want to go in here. There's secrets over there. I need to get gel so I can bounce. What is the point of... Is there a way to get gel? Hmm. Well, I could go up there first. Okay. Maybe there's... No. Hmm. Oh, 
Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, right. I need to... Mm. Wait, how am I going to do that? Uh... Ooh. Well, that's a pickle. Yeah, because I have to have the portal there, but then I have to be up here. Um... I can do this. I can do this! Brain! I can do it! Okay, if I jump into the portal and then... No. Fly out of there. And then go up there. Oh, wait a second. Oh! 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 I did it. I did it. That wasn't even that hard. I, I really don't know why I couldn't process that, man. I I was overcomplicating it again. I always do that. God, that's a stupid brain. Stop overcomplicating the portals. It's simple. Gel pressure control. This works after all this time, huh? Pump station beta. Gel pressure control orange. Well, do them both, baby! Do them both. Oh, yeah. Start up the gel. I love this gel, man. I don't care if it causes tumors. I love it. Control room. Um, okay. Uh, you know I'm here. 1971. Ooh. Aperture. Different. Greetings, friend. Different logo. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. Hi. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. <laughs> Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt. Sir, the testing. Right. right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. Me! You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best. And you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight. <laughs> anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's test related. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I'm having so much fun. Uh, I ha I really haven't had this much fun in a video game in a really long time. I mean, I know that sounds kind of bad, but it's true. It's true. This is really. I had a lot of fun in Half-Life 2 recently as well, but like this is a whole different kind of fun, man. And it's just hilarious at the same time. Like I just want more and more of the lore and then want more Cave Johnson and more GLaDOS. Okay, uh, and I just want to know, like who's Carolyn? I think I might be right about that. Like maybe she's the original um, GLaDOS before she became sentient or evil or something um okay is there nothing in here for me to find i guess not i'm trying to get there i did notice the logo is different it's slowly evolving into the uh like the the lens what is that called I don't know. an aperture <laughs> i think it's called actually um into the the modern logo so uh this is good you know obviously going to be bloop and um but i what about secrets though I want to get into the control room. You can't keep me away from this, okay? You can't do this to me. Whoa! Yes. Give me the juicy secrets. Oh, hi. <gasps> Say, you're good at murder. Could you ow, murder this bird for me? Oh. Oh. Lettuce! Doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode in a 
few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. I can't move, and unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. Good. Sounds like a good deal. This potato only generates 1.1 volts of electricity. I literally do not have the energy to lie to you. I believe you. You stabbed me. What is wrong with you? Oh, hold on. Do you have a multimeter? Never mind. The gun must be part magnesium. It feels like I'm outputting an extra half a volt. Keep an eye on me. I'm going to do some scheming. Here I go. Glados, is your real name Caroline? Okay, hold on. Welcome to Aperture, where the science is theoretical, but your $60 is fact. Warning, moving platform. Use handrails. Keep to the left. Do not litter. Do not loiter. Do not touch the glass. Ooh. Hello, Cave Johnson. Looking good. In color. Remember, alert your supervisor if you see OSHA inspector, depth of energy inspector, GOA accountant, undercover police officer, nuclear regulator commissioner, FEMA coordinator, ordinary police officer, journalist, public works inspector, MSHA mine inspector, AFT, FBI, or U.S. Marshal. <laughs> uh huh. Test subject waiting area sixty dollars. Oh boy, please take a ticket. Four twenty six. I went to take a ticket. Hey, that looks like Doug. Okay. Doug's from the, the comic. The guy that, um... 23? The guy that saved us in the first game. Okay, well, I guess, uh... I guess that's it. That's all, all there is to be seen in here. Empty room. So, let us uh, continue doing what we do, which is to go. And hold on to your potatoes, GLaDOS. <laughs> Whee! The, re the reunion. Did anything happen while I was out? The yeah. testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Oh, God. Oh. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Johnson. Johnson. Uh. Who did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? I knew it! I knew it! Carolyn is GLaDOS! That's so cool! All right. Um, On that amazing revelation i am going to end the episode i'm gonna have to end, edit a little bit of this one out because i i was an idiot on a couple of the puzzles and like my brain was kind of slow <laughs> so if this one might be slightly shorter than an hour apologies for that um i just think this is a pretty decent place to stop so um thank you guys so much for watching and joining me on this adventure in portal 2 let me know in the comments below um what you think please continue to refrain from spoiling story stuff for me i'm i'm so appreciative that you guys haven't spoiled anything for me yet thank you so much um i'm having a great time it's this game is amazing and i can't wait to continue and we shall do so very soon until next time stay cheesy and thank you guys so much for liking subscribing and thank you guys for buying the portal merch which by the way is down below the video linked in the description and in the little merch bar um under the video you can find my portal merch there if you if you do purchase it it supports the channel thank you guys for doing so i'll see you with the next video Bye bye